Welcome back, guys, to Find Me Toys, and this is a very special video I wanted to do. I am going to showcase my Raiders collection that I have, and I have some unique collections uh, that I have personally, and I've been a longtime Raider fan since I was a little lad, and I just wanted to make a video just showcasing the some of the stuff that I have that is Raider related. Of course, I'm wearing my Max Crosby jersey. So this video is just getting getting ready, gearing up for the 2021 season. I'm very hyped up for this season. I think our defense is better. But enough about that. You guys want to see my collectibles. You guys want to see what I got. You just don't want to see the figurines. You want to see some other stuff like in that thumbnail. So let's do it. But before we get started, be sure to click the subscribe button i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year i think we could do it come support this channel and of course i got other videos like mystery boxes funkos uh coming your way as well but let's get started on my raider collection the raiders okay guys so first one up is actually my raider truck that i've had since i've been a kid man this has been with me forever i i honestly don't know how old i was when i got this my father gave me this uh it's a, a it's a pickup truck it's a lower lower down pickup truck dub city uh chevy it's a chevy this it's so funny because i a couple of years back i was at burbank and i actually saw a chevy just like this in raider design it looked it was pretty much a replica on the road for real and the reason why it's all dirty too is i've never opened it <laughs> it's stained in the container it's just one of my favorite pieces man i don't really uh like owning a lot of model cars and stuff but this is definitely an exception because it's the raiders one other personal uh, item I have in my collection is actually the Jerry Rice. I think this is the was the McFarlane. Well, I've been the McFarlane sports brand, and this is the Jerry Rice when he was an Oakland Raider. Of course, they went to that you know the Super Bowl and lost to the Tampa Bay Bucks. I always I was a big Jerry Rice fan. I do liked his years in 49ers, but when he came to the you know the dark side when he was an Oakland Raider, of course I wanted to represent jerry this i actually got at a sports store in paso robles california this means a lot to me because this is actually i don't think my grandma has really bought any figurines in my lifetime uh, hasn't bought me a lot of figurines in my lifetime but this is like the one i always cherish and remember that she bought me she bought me at the sports store it was kind of it's kind of crazy because i was i was looking at it and i just never really would have thought my grandma would have bought me this but uh she said do you want it and i was like oh yeah of course i want it she watched uh, a lot of the Ra raider games with me even though she didn't like football but this is like a piece that i'll always cherish from my heart i actually have a amari cooper one but it's like packed away somewhere i don't put him out but i put jerry rice out because he did do uh him and tim brown were such a the, one of the best dynamic duos in wide receiver history so as of course you could take him off he's it's really stuck in there. I'm going to leave him in there because he's really stuck in there because I never, I haven't taken him out. Like I haven't taken him off the, the, the piece right here, the bottom piece. This is what it looks like in the bottom. The piece where he, uh, the little stand, you can see his little two feet. I love the actual, like his, his actual, um, catching motion. It's, it's like he's falling back, but he's got the ball. He's a little dusty. I need to dust him off a little bit, but you can see the, absolutely beautiful grass stains the detail work on this it's really awesome uh big ups to jerry rice uh i hope maybe one day i'll get the signed because he was in vegas one time so this is definitely one of my pieces that i cherish the most in my raider collection um probably one of the this is one of the collectibles that my grandma ever gave me she only gave me about like four if i could re that i could remember but this is one of my definitely one of the ones i cherish the most so to jerry rice i believe the mcfarland line sports line so this one i don't remember <laughs> getting i don't remember uh i don't remember where i got this from this is the rich gannon i think it was a christmas gift this is a rich gannon uh bobblehead is as you can see his head's a little bit tilted he did get a little bit damaged but rich gannon and then what i really like is the uh the stand piece it's really it feels like the artificial turf it moves and everything of course this ain't dirt 
but this is the Rich Gannon bobblehead, and it's really cool. Um, Rich Gannon was is hands down one of my favorite quarterbacks from the uh, Oakland Raiders or just the Raider organization in general. I remember watching this guy, and he I think he only missed two completions one game. He was doing his sidearm stuff. Like, this dude was a stud. Like I said, when the Raiders went to the Super Bowl, it's a damn shame that a lot of these guys like Tim Brown, uh, Charlie Gardner, uh, Bill Romanowski, Rod and Charles Woodson, Rich Gannon didn't win a Super Bowl ring for the organization. This is a really great quarterback, one of the best quarterbacks, in my opinion, that has never won a ring. He reminded me a lot like Kurt Warner, too, so... Yeah, this is one of my cool collection uh, bobbleheads that I have. Unfortunately, he did get a little messed up. Okay, this is one of my recent pickups when I was in Vegas this year. I went to Vegas in July, and this is actually, they had this in all black, and they also have them in color. This is actually Coach John Gruden, a nice little figure, a nice little statue. Uh, the base is really heavy, which I really like. It does say John. Does say Gruden's name on there. As you can see, it's like a, it's even if Gruden doesn't take us to the promised land, it's a cool little silhouette. So it doesn't. That's why I got it because I don't know uh, if this guy's gonna do what he was paid to do and win us a Super Bowl, or at least take us to the playoffs. So you know, I like John Gruden. He, if he's not our coach, it's just a cool Raider symbol right here. It's a cool to showcase like a silhouette of a like a coach like this is like the demeanor i love with a coach just this aggressive in your face cussing at the referees kind of coach i do like john gruden hopefully this purchase is so worth it that he wins us a super bowl but they had this one they also had uh I believe josh jacobs as well i love my boy josh jacobs i'll probably get a mcfarland line toy from him or a funko pop but I just wanted to go the coaching route. It's a really great design piece. I love the shirt too. The shirt does say Raiders on there. And it's like one of those, uh, it looks like one of those kind of like polo shirts. So at the pants, like the, I love, I think what really drew me was like a, just the artistry of it, you know, the silver on the, the platform with the Raiders. It's just a really nice piece. And I just had, I had to get the coaching one because it, it reminded me of kind of like one of those ESPYs rewards that they get so i love this piece uh, i think this is a really cool piece so this is one of my newer ones for sure so the most awesome piece i have in my collection well one of them the the creme de la creme is coming up right after this one but this is definitely uh everything that a raider fan sh i think i believe everyone should have this or uh I i'm just fortunate enough to have a family who purchased this for me for my birthday I saw this online, I believe it was on Facebook, and this is the Legacy Brick. And I was like, what the hell is a Legacy Brick? So what a Legacy Brick basically is, uh, it's a brick you could purchase that was, I believe, last year, and it was going on maybe two years ago, too. It was running for maybe two years. I think it was just running from last year, though. Uh, what you could do is you could purchase three different versions of brick. The higher you go, the more let letters you could put on, the more... Uh, you can also get the Raider symbol on there for the highest one. It ranged to like 1200 to like, I think it was like two grand maybe for the highest one. You can also get a replica. I So what it is, is you pay for whatever one you wanted and they would place the brick in front of the Raiders store in front of Allegiant Stadium and... It's it would be there forever, man. It would that's pretty to me. I viewed it as like a gravestone. I viewed it as like my legacy. You know, that's why it's called the legacy brick of me being a Raider fan. So yeah, I, I pleaded. I begged for it for my birthday and my family actually got me the legacy brick for my birthday. And I was fortunate enough to go to Allegiant Stadium to take a tour and see my Raider brick to see it on the left on the my left side um, when entering in front of the Raiders uh, store in front of Legion Stadium right there before you even go watch a game was amazing. Uh, so my lines say Machiavelli just win baby Daniel Martinez. The reason for Machiavelli at first I wanted Thug Life uh, then uh, just win baby and Daniel Martinez. 
but the regular organization wouldn't let me do that. I think they thought I was getting uh, affiliate, affiliated, but if you know me, I absolutely am a big fan of Tupac Shakur, and I wanted something with me in this with Tupac, you know? So the best thing I could do was put Machiavelli. That was like his last album. He wanted to change his name to Machiavelli. So Machiavelli of the Dawn, Kaluminati. And I saw I wanted to represent Pac. And then, of course, I wanted to represent the Raiders. Just win, baby. Of course, the famous slogan. I wanted a different kind of slogan because I knew a lot. You could see a lot of the Legacy Bricks have that slogan. It is our, that is our slogan. That is our, you know, rah, rah. But I feel like Al Davis had a lot more sayings that were like very famous and more is uh, more to me in my style uh, when I think about the Raiders. But uh, Just Win Baby, of course, is perfect as well. And I only had so many lines that I could do. And I wanted to put my name in there, Daniel Martinez, because even though it's Dan, there's a lot of Daniel Martinez's out there. There's none quite like me, you know. So got that. And then this is actually the. The replica. That's right. They actually paid more, and gave me a rep. They got me a replica too. And uh, this baby is always showing on one on my videos. If you could take a look, but you can also see the real one over there at Allegiant Stadium, right in front of the Raider store. It will be on the left when you walk in. It'll be on your left side. So it's freaking awesome. I'm surprised there's not as many bricks. I thought there would be a lot more bricks, but it's cool to be in that class where. It's it's very kind of it, it's a rare thing, man. So this is this is definitely one of my favorite collections. Having the replica and knowing that my Raider brick is over there at Allegiant Stadium and seeing it from my own eyes and taking pictures at the stadium and then when I go to a game, seeing my brick first and then going to the game. That's 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 tradition. And then when my son grows up and I'm long and gone, he can go to Raider Stadium. Hopefully he's a hopefully he's a Raider fan and go see my brick. So. Yeah, this is my uh, this is my my uh, replica legacy Raider brick, and I hold so dear to it. Wow! Okay, we are at my one of my final pieces out of my Raider collection, and this is uh, this is a big one, man. This is actually. I'll take I'll give you guys more angles on this bad boy, but this is from my uh, papa, which I call my grandpa, my papa. Or I used to call him, call him Papa and him and my grandma went to New Mexico to go visit their buddy. And when they came back from New Mexico, first of all, I got cool ass Billy the Kid coins. But he came back with this. <laughs> this is the time when Randy Moss was with us, the Oakland Raiders, and it wasn't a very good run at all. I mean, we really didn't have a quarterback. The team really sucked. But it's this is a really badass piece. This is a Randy Moss bobblehead. Now, those are the bobbleheads you kind of see like with John Gruden with the Corona one. It's about the same size, but it's Randy Moss. So as you see, this is all my tags I've had. These are all my tags. I've this is all my convention tags. So it's like a tradition that every uh, lanyard that or yeah lanyard that I get from any convention, any events I go to, I put it on Randy here. My son knows him as Randy. I tell him be careful with Randy. Uh, be nice to Randy. <laughs> you know, Randy is uh, part of the family. So Randy Moss, he has his number 18 um, jersey on, of course. He was number 18. What's so cool about this is I have never seen this anywhere else. I haven't seen it online. Uh, I have never, uh, maybe one image of it is out there. This is 17 out of 100, guys. There was only 100 made of this Randy Moss bobblehead. And how do I know it's a bobblehead? Yeah, it's a bobblehead, and that's nuts. Number 17 out of 100, only 100. This is a lot better than John Gruden's uh, Corona, I got to say. So meet Randy. The detail work on this is phenomenal. Uh, doesn't look ran like Randy in the face, but the, the cornrows are pretty tight. I always really get a kick out of the cornrows. If they had an Allen Iverson bobblehead, that'd be so dope. The uh, texture of the cornrows is really cool too. As you can see, his head is bobbing. But the cleats, there's actually little uh, 
little rods on each of the cleat that and then there's a little hole that you can put it on and that's how he stands and it's really sturdy actually it's really sturdy i don't want to like <laughs> i'm moving him but he, he's pretty sturdy what's cool too is this right here is the grass the turf it kind of has the same feel as the rich gannon bobblehead i showed earlier of course it has his name on there moss and this is the creme de la creme Seventeen out of a hundred. That is nuts. They've only made a hundred of these, and I have one of them. I'm very lucky, and uh, just absolutely lucky to have some of the stuff I I have. Okay, so that's my Raider collection. Uh, I'm glad. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I've shown you. This is uh, definitely one of my favorite pieces. This goes, this is actually the first thing you see when you walk in is, especially with the Raider season coming. I want to thank you guys for listening and seeing all my cool Raider stuff. And if you could click the subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. Like the video if you like all the stuff I got. And then also hit the bell notification so you can be notified with all the cool videos I'm coming out with on this channel more to come more stuff i'm getting and i'm going to showcase so i hope you guys liked it and hopefully our raiders can do good this season actually go to the playoffs and you know what the defense looks great and i will have raider videos on my other channel at dan the man reviews where i have movie tv pop culture stuff and sports and i just did a snack review over there but if you want raider my opinion on the raiders this season and maybe even a couple commentaries of the game then go ahead and head to my second channel, Dan the Man Reviews. I'll have the, the link in the description box so you can go over there and you can also su subscribe and check out all the content on that. There's a lot of content on that channel. So thank you guys. And till next time, just win, baby. I'm Dan the Man. I'll see you next time on Find Me.